Hello, this is Laptop Media, and today, we will show you how to open the Acer Nitro 5 AN51555 and what's inside of it. Since there are no service lids here, you need to remove the entire bottom panel to access the internals. First, remove all 11 Phillips head screws. Then pry the panel with a plastic tool and lift it away. It's as easy as that. And what a surprise, the cooling is pretty much the same we saw on the Predator Triton 300 PT-31552. There are three heat pipes and four heat spreaders, and the only difference between the two laptops is that the Nitro 5 uses two plastic fans, whereas the Triton 300 has a plastic and a metal one. Additionally, there are two cooling plates, located above the video memory and the VRMs. In terms of memory, this device supports up to 32GB of DDR4 RAM with a maximum frequency of 2933 MHz. However, the storage compartment is more impressive. You get two M.2 slots that can work in RAID 0 mode. They are designated by numbers on the motherboard, stating that number 1 supports PCIe drives only, while number 2 can hold both PCIe and SATA drives. Not in the last place, there is a 2.5-inch SATA drive bay for your gaming libraries. Here, the battery is slightly downgraded from last year. It has a capacity of 57.47 watt-hours, compared to 58.75 watt-hours for its predecessor, roughly resulting in the whopping 1 watt-hour decrease year-on-year. If you'd like to see more disassembly videos of the latest notebooks we would highly appreciate if you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.